Hi guys, this is Az from Integrum Health and Wellness. Today I'd like to talk about what is the healthiest diet? Now, in this current age of information, there are millions of diets available to people, whether it be that you're trying to lose weight, gain muscle mass, improve your health, uh, improve your immune system. There are diets for everything and anything. I think the first thing to say is to make you aware and to invite you to get rid of the concept of diets. A diet, as normally is sold, is a prescribed program of eating over a duration of time. For example, a 12-week diet, a six-week diet, a three-month diet, whatever it be. The idea being that at some point it comes to an end. The issue with this whole mindset is, for example, let's say we're taking a six week weight loss diet. You follow the diet, you lose the weight. You get to the end of the six weeks and then you return to your normal style of eating. What's gonna happen? No doubt you're gonna return back to your previous weight. You may even gain further weight depending on which way you go after the diet is complete. What we actually wanna start thinking about is what is our nutritional choices? What do we choose to eat on a daily, weekly, monthly, yearly basis and why? Now, the big things that come up when you talk about nutrition and diet is, are you going to consume animal proteins? So are you going to be a vegetarian? Are you going to be a vegan? Are you going to be a pescatarian? Are you going to be a meat eater? Rather than standing here and giving you my opinion on which of those is the healthiest or best option for you, and with every other element of your diet, I'm going to ask you to develop a sensitivity. So when you eat meat, how do you feel? When you eat a steak, how do you feel? When you eat vegetarian, how does it make you feel? See, what it all comes down to is we want to eat in a way that's going to support us in being successful. So whether that be successful in business, in life with our family, in our own personal achievements, we want to be eating to support that. So you must become very sensitive to what you put in your mouth, what you digest, and how it affects your mood, your energy, your physiology, and all these other things that we need to support us in whatever we're trying to achieve in life. So develop a sensitivity. There is no perfect diet. There is no one size fits all for everybody. It's up to you to develop an education and a consciousness about what you put in your mouth and how you digest it. Things to consider. Are you going to eat meat? Are you going to eat dairy products? Do you suffer from any intolerances or allergies? These things are really important. It's really important to understand what these things are. Do your research. There are loads of videos coming up on Integrum that will give you more information on all of these subjects. And make a conscious, personal decision. Note that today we're talking purely about health. So we're not getting into whether or not you think it's environmentally friendly or animal cruelty. We're trying to think of things today from a rather selfish point of view of what is best for you. So in summary, when looking for the perfect diet, I'd recommend a diet of education, research, and conscious mindfulness about what you consume. This is Ads from Integrum Health and Wellness, wishing you well.